Welcome to the fifth part of this video series, on shortwave radio for beginners. After so much theory, finally it's time, to turn on the radio, and listen to the short waves. Let's start. First of all, what is our equipment tonight? The antenna is a single metal wire, about 7 meters, or 21 feet long. To demonstrate, that you really don't have to spend much money on your antenna, I use a single packing, or, wrapping wire. The wire is connected to the telescopic antenna, with a crocodile clip, and simply lying on the terrace. We will use my Texan PL880, Digital World Band Receiver. A very reliable and user-friendly device. The recording was made, in two different sessions. The first one was on the 27th of January, 2023, the second, on the 28th of February, one month later. Both sessions after 8 p.m., night time. The receiver was located in Austria, Central Europe. The weather was quite chilly, with clear skies. Our plan for this session, to listen to the Shannon Volmat, weather station, to tune the 80 meters band, searching for data, and voice transmission, and the 41 meters band, to listen to broadcast stations. And finally we will catch a Russian number station. Sounds interesting, right? Let's turn on the radio, and test the quality of the reception, with a utility station. We have a quite good reception tonight, now let's see, what we see on the display. SW, indicates, that we are listening to the short waves. USB, indicates, that we are using upper side band mode. You may ask, why I use here the upper side band mode, when the frequency is under 10,000 kHz. Well, under 10,000 kHz you should actually use LSB, but, in my environment, USB works better for the Shannon Volmat. You always have to experiment in your own environment, this station should be actually available on 5505 AM mode. 5504 kilohertz, is our current frequency. The first number on the top, is the signal strength. This includes the white noise, as well. For utility stations, like the current one, between 20 and 40 decibel unit, or more, is optimal. For broadcast stations, 40, 50 or more is good. The second number on the top, is the signal noise ratio. This indicates the strength of the main signal, out of the noise. For utility stations, like the current one, between 0 and 20 decibel, or more, is optimal. For broadcast stations, 20, 30 or more. These indications may be helpful for you, but even with higher readings, you can have a very weak reception, if the environment is too noisy. And now, let the radio, do the talking. I turn down the music, and myself, so you can focus on the radio. I'll come back to you at the end of the video again.
Imagine you have 20 people in a room who are competent adults with backgrounds in the field. But the company decided to hire. Yeah. <laughs> and that's, if you have one hour long meeting every day for five days a week, we're talking about 20 people, 100 working hours where nothing is getting done. Jason just sounded, you just sounded so much like what Chinese people would say. <laughs> ils enverront des attaques sur le système d'information pour essayer au plus de le saturer et une fois saturé, ben, de pénétrer le système. Et d'autres se contenteront de vous envoyer juste des petits mails pour collecter des données de cartes. Certains élaboreront même des sites euh, tout entiers qui copieront des sites euh, que vous connaissez, qu'on a l'habitude d'utiliser, juste pour pouvoir collecter... <laughs> and <laughs> drug addicts. Well, <laughs> yeah. What was your cute? Well, my, parents, my parents looked at the school and they thought, all of these kids are drug offenders and, and violent people. I don't want my kid associating with them and uh. picking up their bad habits. And so my parents went to the school and say, you make a certain amount of money. We know mm. what it is. For every mm. student in the school, we could just take our kid out. <laughs>
Wow! This was really cool. I was not sure if we can receive a number station, but it worked perfectly. Mission completed. The reception was very good actually tonight. To be honest, the reception is not always like today, sometimes worse, sometimes better, depending very strong on the current environment. For me, late afternoon and the night hours work usually very good, especially in winter time, as radio amateurs in my region are very active, around this time. Next time, we will go through the best practices, for shortwave radio listening. You can also contribute, to more, and better content, for shortwave radio, by asking questions in the comment section. If you have enough questions, I can provide, some Q&A videos, on the topic. New content, is available every Tuesday on this channel. See you next time. Comment below and thanks for watching.